Right, so this is the part one of our project to build an eco boat made out of recycled milk cartons. We need a framework for the boat as well, so we set off today to try and see if we could uh, recycle everything we needed to make the boat from scratch by looking in skips and places like that. First we needed to go to Rightways Builders Merchants to get the only thing that we've actually paid for, which is two 16 foot slate battens, which we paid £4 for. But as, when we started off, we, we said we needed to make like a kind of canoe shape. We're looking to try and find some flexible strips, which we've got for the side struts. And, and some, well, and some, some bigger ones. We'll some big some, ones that are there. These are flexible plastic strips, which we're going to use in the construction. We said we wanted some hook shaped things to give the boat hook shape. Hook shaped things. Which we found on an old abandoned door, uh, an old abandoned uh, table, sorry. And we also think we can use parts of the table to make the boat shape as well. We'll plan on using maybe gaffer tape to get all the milk patterns to stick together but we're fortunate enough to come across some absolutely enormous rolls of, of shrink wrap shrink wrap also been thrown away so a pretty good haul really and very eco-friendly because everything apart from these two things here were all stuff that were being thrown away we were planning on buying a brand new cooking box we plan on having a camp out as well at the lake that we're going to but believe it or not we actually found that this had been thrown away as well so after a good clean up I think that is a nice addi addition to the camp equipment that we've got and we also found some flexible strips to help us make things like seats and stuff for the canoe that we're doing as well this really really flexible stuff already full of little holes really really durable stuff and again all completely and utterly free and we also found thrown away a chisel a chisel and a raft not central to the project but it's always nice to get free stuff so that's the end of part one of it in the next part we're going to show you how we actually start putting the thing together